What's going on everyone and a warm welcome back to the channel and another video on World of Warcraft. So I finally found it. I finally found Toldegore Dungeon. It took me absolutely ages to find this place. Um, but with a little bit of help from the community, we was able to get here. I did make the grave mistake of trying this dungeon on my own. Um, as it's the sort of first or second dungeon I've tried. It's the second dungeon I've tried actually in World of Warcraft. Uh, the one in Exiles Reach was more of a tutorial on how to... Uh, go through a dungeon so this is my real first sort of challenging dungeon and um, yeah uh, grave mistake trying it on my own as, as you can imagine I lasted all but three seconds so a quick little search in the dungeon finder uh, in game helped me out and helped me find a team and I'm extremely grateful for um, joining this team as they're already sort of showing me the ropes and helping me lead through uh, the dungeon with the first one being a big swoop to the left at the start then uh, just to try and avoid some of the uh, unnecessary conflict of um, some of the smaller sort of targets that can get really, really irritating when there's so many of them. So we come to our first boss, um, which is a Sand Queen. And as you guys will know if you've been following my channel for a bit, I'm now I'm a range class. Uh, so I'm really trying to pay a lot of focus and attention on trying to be uh, the best I can at my class. And I'm trying to play my class and up my um, ranged talents as a contribution uh, to this teamwork to be able to take on these bosses. So I'm hanging back a little bit on the sidelines and just trying to deal as much DPS as I can uh, to the boss. I'm not in any types of uh, voice chat or communication uh, with my teammates. I am purely solo in this into uh, like a random team. So I'm just trying to um, read my teammates positioning I'm also trying to read the environment around me and, and just trying to make sure we're not all too huddled together. So I am trying to really pay a, a, quite a bit of focus and awareness of people's positioning. As you can see, the first attempt didn't go very well. Uh, the team got wiped out and that just left myself. And as you can imagine, uh, this didn't go very, down very well. It didn't take too long for the, uh, the boss to, to finish me off. So, with a quick reset, we was able to quite quickly, to be fair, get back into the action. myself and another range class um, just to the left of me there just hanging back just a little bit I know it's sort of been drawn in at the moment with uh, all of the spells that the uh, boss has cast it sort of draws you in closer um, but also trying to be mindful of the attacks on the environment as well that the, the boss is also casting out but as long as I keep my awareness I found um, my awareness of the environment I was trying to maximise my positioning to where um, contribute towards the damage on the boss. But these are <laughs> these attacks are really frustrating. I'm hoping there's a way as I sort of develop into the game um, of reducing the cooldown or the, the uh, charge up time of the aim shot because I'm finding it takes a long time to charge up. But it does deal some really good damage. Although I do try and keep aware of the environment, there are a few times where I have run into some of the traps. I think that's just I'm just trying to keep my eyes focused on the boss and the position of the team. And it is um, a little bit challenging to try and make sure you. Uh, when you're sort of in the moment of the battle uh, I think it's a little bit just of a uh, more experience is required really in dungeons and uh, bosses to be able to maximize uh, true positioning but I felt we did quite well on that boss uh, worked well as a team I felt each of us played our class like I said I tried to keep my range um, to enable the melee classes to the close combat 
traveling through some of these confined spaces in the tunnels also puts me as a, a, a little bit of a disadvantage um, as everyone's sort of cramped together there's lots going on uh, it's quite difficult to see the targets it's quite difficult to select the targets um, I, I appreciate I could probably turn some of the names off maybe in the uh, in the menu uh, but I thought it best just to maybe hang back uh, do what I can from a distance uh, and let the melee guys sort of um, take the lead on this one Let's call the petting. Corpus, explain to me why you haven't blooded the lower levels and drowned these squabbling rats! My apologies, Lady Ashvane. I am confident my men will restore order soon. You had better be right, or your replacement's first duty will be to watch you drown with the rest of this scum! I don't have a target. So the Sand Queen was the first of four bosses. So we're just trying to work our way through to the uh, second boss at the moment, which is um, quite a few roadblocks in the way with uh, a little bit of combat, but all adds to the XP, I suppose. I find that the group's working really well together as well. And it really does help to have a mixture of classes in the uh, in the team. We do have uh, the healer I found in uh, our team. He's uh, done, a, done a great job. That rapid fire shot is definitely a favourite spell to uh, cast of mine. It's um, very effective, I find. A little bit of a long cooler in time, um, but it's definitely a go to uh, spell to cast for me. Come on, boys! Rip open those doors! Once we get our claws on the Overseer's hostages, we'll be up to our snouts in ransom money! Seems to be working our way through pretty well at the moment. Thank you. 
There we go. Nicely done. trial to be up during the middle of one of the dungeons so I, uh, I did download the trial version um, which gets up to level 20 without any type of subscription uh, but I can't believe my trial ended uh, while I was halfway through this dungeon um, so I was a little bit worried at first that the uh, my XP wasn't going to count or I didn't know if it would kick me out of the game but um, very well done it was uh, it let me continue through the rest of the dungeon and when it was finished, I did end up subscribing to World of Warcraft in the uh, monthly subscription. And uh, as soon as I subscribed, my uh, my XP was uh, added, so I didn't lose anything in XP. So that. back at the moment and uh, try and do as much damage as I can. This is the second boss now, hence why it's taking a little bit more time to uh, attack this, uh, to win this fight. But healer's doing a great job hanging back and trying a little bit of damage to the boss at the same time as um, trying to keep our, our health up. So I, I thought the, the healer did a great job uh, in this dungeon. This ship is going right through your rib cage. I was up for There we go, two down. Two to go. Find that as soon as the boss is taken down, everyone just sort of dies on it to collect the loot. Well done. Looks like you have things under control. We'll finish securing the lower levels while you make your way to the Overseer. I need a Although I'm going into this as a, a solo, into a, a random group, I can imagine playing this with friends and family as a, as a team 
where we're all sort of in um, voice chat and communicating to each other. It's been a fantastic experience. So I'll try and do that um, on one of the upcoming dungeons, maybe. Uh, try to get into a guild or uh, try to get into a group uh, with some uh, friends. Because I really enjoyed this dungeon. Um, it was great to see the teamwork and everyone sort of working together um, to achieve that common goal, which is to ultimately get the XP and get the loot. at this point to notice that my pet uh, has been taken down. explode, we'll all be dust! Here's boss number three. I can't wait to see you melt. This boss was a little bit more challenging than the previous two, as I felt that this boss did a little bit more attacks on the environment where uh, a few more traps were, were laid. So positioning and awareness was really key going through this boss. And as I've found sort of as we progress through the dungeon, each boss gets that little bit harder and harder. Three down, one to go. I think the map's quite cool as well on this one, as it's sort of like you start outside, then you go inside, back outside. 
But it's really good how it sort of dynamically changes the environment uh, as you progress through the dungeon. I thought that was quite good. There we go. Here's the final boss. I've been eager to try these rounds on living time. You'll get caught in the crossfire. Run on you, ones. I never. I think perhaps at this point I went a little bit too close to the boss. Probably should have stayed where my original positioning was. Um, as I wanted to try and create a little bit of distance between me and the other range class. Um, so we can try and uh, attack from multiple angles. But I guess that's the uh, beauty of also being able to edit my uh, gameplay footage because I can re-watch um, my gameplay. Uh, as I'm editing the video actually and I can take a lot of feedback just through re-watching re and incorporate that into learning and um, try and get better for the next one I did find it quite interesting in how the boss sort of stayed in one or two locations for the majority of the fight. I expected the boss to move around a little bit more. And there we go. Final boss complete. And the dungeon's now complete. Everyone piles on to collect that loot. Which is uh, awesome. So yeah, that is um, Total Gore Dungeon Lady Complete. Ashbane will have an opening for a new overseer after all. Now that we have the prison under our control and the keys in our possession, we can begin securing the Azerite and releasing the hostages. You do good work for an escaped fugitive. There we go. I think she's finished talking now. So yeah, I, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. I really, really enjoyed playing the dungeon as a team. Um, I thought the dungeon was really well laid out. Lots of challenging moments. I love the fact that there's multiple bosses in the dungeon, not just one. Um, and the, just built on the XP and the loot you can get from it. I can totally appreciate on how um, excited people get when you get into dungeons and how they're such a, a really main point in uh, MMORPG. Especially World of Warcraft. So thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. 
like I said, uh, re-editing the video uh, and watching my gameplay back, I've also made a few notes myself. Um, and it all mainly surrounds about just making sure my positioning is um, key to my class. Uh, be mind being mindful of uh, what my teammates are doing, being mindful of their positioning, and also mindful of the environment as some of the bosses, when they did a sort of like attack in the environment or they laid traps down, Sometimes I was a little bit lost and I got immersed a bit too much into focusing on what I needed to attack. Uh, so there's lots to take in on the dungeon uh, to, to truly master it, what I found. So I, I can't wait to do more dungeons um, to build up my experience and also try to um, gain on that experience. So yeah, really, really enjoyed it. So I'm going to uh, call the video there. Um, if you guys have seen anything that I did that I haven't sort of mentioned already uh, that you feel is uh, a good tip or uh, some good advice, um, all feedback is welcomed on this channel. Uh, I really do really appreciate all the feedback the community has given so far. I've been overwhelmed, if I'm honest with you, on the kindness of the community, on how much people are um, helping me through uh, my first experience of World of Warcraft. It's been uh, very humbling. So I really appreciate everybody's feedback and um, although I am a little bit further on ahead in the game um, because I can't quite keep up with the editing because the editing is taking quite a little bit of time um, the, there are a few um, comments from you, you guys that I have actually already learnt myself but honest, please, please, please drop them in the comments because it, it reassures uh, my learning as well when I sort of read something that I uh, have already captured myself so yeah, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate all the feedback. Um, if you did enjoy this video, I'd, I'd hugely appreciate a like and I'd hugely appreciate a sub. Um, I really do intend to try and get a lot more content in World of Warcraft as I am absolutely loving this game. Can't believe I've gone so long in uh, gaming, really, without um, giving World of Warcraft a go. And uh, this dungeon has just... Um, immerse myself even more into the uh, World of Warcraft so I absolutely love it so thanks ever so much for watching I really appreciate you clicking on my video and as always I'll catch you in the next one laters